Hello and welcome to Feeling Good Vibes Only. This is the fourth restaurant that I booked for my mom's birthday and Mother's Day. And it's a three Michelin star restaurant. It's located in one of the two forests of Paris. Paris has their own version of Central Park. And they only not have one, but they have two. And they are so much bigger than Central Park. They have Bois de Boulogne in the western edge of the city and they have the Vincennes in the eastern end of the city. I was able to book this three Michelin star restaurant last April 24 for June 25. My mom and I had breakfast in the Marines and after that we decided to see Monet's Water Lilies in the Orangerie and then we took a cab towards Bois de Boulogne. This is Place de la Concorde and this is the location where a lot of royal heads rolled on the ground, including Marie Antoinette. Le Precatelain's uh, Frédéric Anton is also the chef of Le Jules Vin, which is located on top of the Eiffel Tower. It's a one Michelin star restaurant. So if you can't secure a booking in Le Precatelain, I would suggest for you to try and book Le Jules Vin, but it's also always booked. So you better reserve early. Le Precatelain is located in the middle of the forest in what looked like a small castle. So I was really excited for this. That looked like Chef Frederick Anton, the guy who just came out of the door, right? Aside from the fact that Le Bricatelan is a three Michelin star restaurant for many years, Frederick Anton is also a recipient of Mayor of Vier de France, which literally translates to Master Craftsman. This is the backyard of the restaurant. It looks like a typical suburban backyard in the United States. My mom and I was 15 minutes early and when we got in the restaurant, the restaurant was empty except for one table. Michael. For some reason, the restaurant couldn't find my name in the reservation, so they decided to ask me for proof that I'm supposed to be there. We were then whisked to this patio overlooking the suburban garden. Okay. For some reason, it felt like we were transported back from Paris, back to Chicago overlooking our backyard doing some Korean barbecue thank you My pleasure. you know in Korea we usually judge a restaurant based on their kimchi if they have good kimchi it's a good restaurant and in France I think we can do the same with their bread and butter. And this restaurant's bread and butter is actually pretty good. I love their salted butter. I don't want to 
touch it. It's so pretty. It's cute. MSG on this one. It's really good. and French pastry. You go now. It's good. It's like a pili. It's not too much. Artichokes are usually submerged in lemon water for them to prevent browning. Okay, yung ano, kailan nilang gawing maasim yung dish kasi maalat yung kaya. So far, the salt content was set by the amuse bush of cheese and anchovy and kalamata. And from the start of the tasting menu, the salt content is kind of in a plateau. Okay, thank you. <laughs> the foam component of this dish reminds me of the dashi foam of the crab soup a while back. Yeah. It was really good, but the thing with dashi is it has a lot of natural MSG from the seaweed that they used to make dashi. Mm. And the problem with MSG is that it intensifies flavors. And the fact that there's a lot of salt in the dish, it 
kind of makes it more salty. I grew up in the Philippines and the United States, and I would say that we have some of the saltiest food in the world. So I kind of like it. But this level of salt content is designed to be consumed with a lot of beer or a lot of drinks or in this case wine pairing. Thank you. So if you're not a lightweight drinker like my mom and I, I would suggest for you to order wine pairing as well now back to the food this one has more seaweed and problem the problem with seaweed is it has a lot of natural MSG and it does intensify the salt content and other flavors of the dish but I love salty food so as you can see I finished all of them Ooh. Smoked salmon, smoked in cherry oil, then is confit in olive oil for a few hours, and sabayon of wasabi, wasabi, and grilled sesame. Merci. Wasabi and mami, yeah. Mamhangi. Eh, pati na wasabi. They've been they've been playing with Japanese flavors lately. Wasabi. Masim siya. Ano wasabi? Oh. Nindi mo siguro. Oh. Pero ano airy? Mm. Mm. I think I want some rice. I want some rice with this. Sushi rice. This is another sign that it is very salty. I usually eat a lot of plain rice whenever there's something, whenever the, whenever we have a salty food on the table. Oh, okay. Thank you. And um, my mom's gonna have a lychee. Lychee? Yes. Yes. Mm. Uh, I have. Thank you. Champagne. This is champagne sorbet with caviar and I couldn't f taste the salt content of the caviar maybe because of how salty the past dishes were. Finally the salt plateau went down from here because for the past few dishes it was just flat. Everything has the same salt content which is not really fun. So good. Dangerous. This looks very sharp. Out of the pigeon, the reason is 
cognac sauce. Cognac. Okay. And all around is the juice of the pigeon. On the side, uh, the fruit salad, the rosca, the straw. Oh, okay. Merci beaucoup. Don't forget that this little part huh, is the main interesting part. It's the, it's the best part of the fillet. Oh. Oh. Merci beaucoup. Let me try more. Best part of the fire. Liver. Oh. Liver. Oh. Liver. Oh. Liver. Oh. Liver. Oh. Liver. I'm not going First time. Ko. This and this. In the Philippines, we we make a double out of calapate, right? Tastes like duck. Very herby. Full of herbs. Palate cleanser. Palate cleanser. Souffle, souffle cheese and black truffle. Mm, thank you. Souffle. 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 Floating island ng Italian. Diba ay hindi. Floating island French. French. I'm a big fan of their ceramics. They're very pretty. Then my kidneys decided that I had too much salt for the day, so I'm gonna take you with me to the second floor. This is the bathroom. On the right. It's raining outside. On my way back to the dining room, I, I realized that we were seated with our fellow Asians in this little room. There's a couple of other Asians here and it felt like, it felt a little bit like segregation. Maybe it was just me, but you know, for the past couple of years, Asians have been getting a lot of hate and um, a lot of hate crime all over the world and I'm very sensitive to this kind of stuff lately. Around the pollen, marmalade of lemon, zephyr yogurt, honey ice cream, and a biscuit, sort of crumble biscuit in the bottom. Mm. And then we can eat the plate too, right? Do we eat the plate? It looks like Moran. This is a pavlova. <laughs> Mommy, what does it taste like? Avi. Harry. So good. Mm. 
Hmm. Parang gula ng itlog ako. Ano nga, ano? Parang royal icing. Ano? Chocolate tart. Chocolate tart. It's chocolate tart. Texture and sweetness of a flan, but flavor is bittersweet chocolate. Mm. Try it with pistachio ice cream. Pistachio. Pistachio ice cream with candied pistachios. Mm. Thank you. Coffee, uh, sugar. Um, thank you. Sugar is here. Yes. <laughs> Let me espresso yeah. in. I espresso. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one here. <laughs> the food was very flavorful but it was salty so i would uh, advise for you to order wine pairing so maybe it would lessen it would clean it would cleanse your palate and maybe it would lessen the salt content that's what we do in the philippines and the states whenever the pizza is slightly salty we drink a lot of beer because this restaurant is a three michelin star restaurant and because frederick Antoine is considered a master craftsman my expectations were really high and for some reason it didn't meet it and because of what i have said for the past 24 minutes about this restaurant the food the level of salt content the 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 segregation thing I gave this restaurant a 1 out of 5 stars in Google and TripAdvisor. Mm -hmm. I told you it's a jungle. Thanks for watching so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in my next vlog. Thank you.